With regards to General Petraeus, I mean, he's being believed to be under consideration to replace General Flynn, obviously, as National Security Advisor. Uh, certainly, you know, questions are going to be raised about whether the, the incident he was involved with with you makes him unfit for that position. What do you say to that to people? Well, I say it's been five years and everyone involved in this situation has taken responsibility for their actions and suffered the consequences and has tried to move forward. So I think um, in relation to me that he should be able to move forward. It, it does seem like, you know, when, when you take both of you, that there has been kind of a different way you've both, both been dealt with. I mean, General Petraeus has, you know, gone on to being on, I guess, on boards of companies. He's, uh, you know, he's consulting um, he's, I guess, you know, probably being highly paid, and now he's being considered for posi- uh, for, for a position. You know, in, in the coverage, I, I went back and read some of the coverage of what occurred, and it seemed like the way you per- were portrayed, uh, you know, in Washington Post, it talked about your tight-fitting clothes at one point. Um, some of the comments made by other people were kind of implying that you had somehow, you know, seduced this shining general and... Do you feel that there's been this double standard? Obviously, I feel there's been a double standard, Anderson, um, not only in the, the press coverage, but in the treatment and the discipline. Um, but I, I've never been one to cast myself as a victim. I take full responsibility for the mistakes that I did make. Um, I think as a strong woman, I'm going to wear what I want to wear, but I certainly wasn't out on any kind of mission. Um, I was trying to write a book. I was a credentialed journalist. The Department of Justice recognized that and declined to bring any charges. The challenge for me has been waiting um, an additional a year, over a year, for the Army to resolve our case. And, uh, I'm, and you're still I, waiting today, for that. Actually, I'm still waiting for that. And the irony is, again, that David Petraeus is being considered for this position, which is terrific. He's very qualified. And as I said, everyone should be able to go on with their life.